the king of the court, LeBron James. Last night, LeBron broke another basketball great, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's NBA scoring record, and the biggest stars in Hollywood were right there to witness history. LeBron James has shot in history. Oh my goodness. King James's sons, Bryce and Bronny, leapt to their feet as Magic Johnson and Jay-Z went in for the hug, all caught on a hot mic. Yeah, Usher in a puffer jacket, Denzel Washington, Woody Harrelson, LL Cool J, celeb congrats coming from on and off the court. Congratulations, King James. What a legendary night. Congratulations, Bron Bron. No Adele, but her man, LeBron's agent, Rich Paul, hit up the after party. So did Kelly Rowland without Beyonce after she became the Grammy's GOAT. Queen Bee just posted this recap, posing in bed with Bubbly and all her awards, partying with Mom Tina, Kelly, and Lizzo, and getting her groove on with Jay. As for her album of the year snub, Jay tells Title Magazine he's never confident going into the Grammys, quote, I remove myself from the process and hope they just get it right. Album of the year, it has to be. As for Benefer's Awards Aftermath, Won't you love me, baby? J-Lo was just spotted heading into a dance studio wearing leggings that read, my voice is heard. This, as this Grammy seat filler revealed Benefer's viral moment was the couple actually realizing Sad Ben was taking over social media. We took the rock seat because he had gotten up. The rock turned to us and said, you better not talk to them. That's kind of a joke. J-Lo handed her phone to Ben and said, hey, honey, look at this meme that's circulating about you. So they were so well aware during the Grammys about it. She was texting people about the meme and sending it to her friends. He just laughed it off.